Assalamu alaikum. Today, we will continue the explanation of Chapter 10, Scalar Product. The objectives of this session are determine a normal vector of a straight line D, study the orthogonality of two lines, and calculate the distance from a point to a line. The normal vector of a straight line, let O, I, J be an orthonormal system, and let D be a straight line in the plane, V is a director vector of D. N is orthogonal to V, and scalar V is equal to zero. N is called a normal vector of D. So the vector that is orthogonal to a director vector of D is called the normal vector of D. If N and N prime are two normal vectors of the same line, then they are both collinear since they are both orthogonal to the same vector, so they have the same direction. How to find a normal vector of a line in this section? We will learn how to determine the normal vector of a line and we will review the how to determine also the director vector of a straight line. If the line is given in its Cartesian form, you remember that V minus V U is a director vector of D. Now N U V is a normal vector of D. If it's given in its reduced Cartesian form, you remember that V 1 A is a director vector of the line D and A minus 1 is a normal vector of D. Now, if the line is given in its parametric form, you remember that V A B is a director vector of D. Now, N B minus A is a normal vector of D. Example, give two normal vectors for each of the following lines. In the first case, D1 is represented by its Cartesian form. The normal vector is U, V, 2, minus 3. Another normal vector is any vector that is collinear to N. For example, N prime, which is equal to 2M, is a normal vector of D1. D2 is given by its reduced form. So the normal vector here is a minus 1, 2 minus 1. Another normal vector is n prime equal 3n. T3 is given in its parametric form. The normal vector is equal to b minus a. So minus 1, minus 4. Also 1, 4 is a normal vector since n if n is equal to 1 4 minus n is equal to minus 1 minus 4 they are both collinear so they are both normal vectors to this line and n prime which is equal to minus 4 n is a normal vector of t3 perpendicular lines how can we use the normal vector or the director vector to prove that two lines are perpendicular. We have two perpendicular lines D, D and D prime. V is a director vector of D and N is a normal vector of D. V prime is a director vector of D prime and N prime is a normal vector of D prime. You can notice that if D and D prime are perpendicular, then V and V prime are orthogonal, and N and N prime are orthogonal. So we can prove that two lines are perpendicular either by proving that these two, the, uh, their two directions, the two director vectors are orthogonal, or their two normal vectors are orthogonal. In the case of a Cartesian equation, we prove that UU prime plus V prime is equal to zero. So here we use the normal vectors. In the case of a parametric equation, we prove that AA prime plus BB prime is equal to zero. Here we're using the director vectors and in the reduced equation, as you remember from grade nine, to prove that two lines are perpendicular, we prove that AA prime is equal to minus one. Let's go to an application. We have to justify whether D and G prime are perpendicular or not. In the first case, uh, we have D and D prime represented by the parametric form. So we said that it's easier to work with the director vector here because it's easier to find. 
v3 minus 2 and v prime minus 2 minus 3 their scalar product is xx prime plus yy prime which is equal to minus 6 plus 6 0 then these lines are perpendicular in the second case we have the cartesian form so it's easier to work with a normal vector it's u v u v so n1 2 is a normal vector of d and n prime minus 4 2 is a normal vector of d prime the scalar product of these two vectors is xx prime plus yy prime which is equal to zero to zero then d and g prime are perpendicular in this third case the reduced form a times a prime is equal to minus 4 which is different from minus 1 then these two lines are not perpendicular a second application in fact here we will learn how to find or to determine the equation of a straight line passing through a point and having the normal vector or a normal vector of this line so having a point and a normal vector as you know the normal vector the, the components of a normal vector are the where x n is equal to u and y n is equal to v so they are part of the equation so first we substitute x uh, u by x n and v by y n we obtain d minus 4 x plus 3 y plus w is equal to zero we still have to find w well we know that a belongs to the line d so if we place the coordinates of a in the equation we should obtain zero the coordinates of a verify the equation then w is equal to minus 13 hence the equation of d is minus 4x plus 3y minus 13 is equal to 0. Now, if d and d prime are two perpendicular lines, the director vector of d is a normal vector of d prime, and a normal vector of d is a director vector of d prime, as you can see in the figure. Distance from a point to a line. Given a straight line U and a point A. If you want to calculate the distance from A to D, the distance from A to the line D is given by this formula. Distance from A to D is equal to the absolute value of U X A plus V Y A plus W over the radical of u squared plus v squared as you can notice we use the absolute we have the an absolute value and a radical the distance since the distance is always positive now let d be a straight line of equation minus x plus 2y plus 5 equals 0 and a a point of coordinates 2 minus 4 determine the distance from d from a to d the distance is equal to the absolute value of minus x a plus 2 into minus 4 which is equal to y a plus 5 w over radical minus 1 square plus 2 square which is equal to radical to the absolute value of minus 5 over radical 5 equal radical 5 units this is the homework for next time and thank you so much